Hello audience, this is Hoof Assassin, bringing you FTL, which is faster than light, I believe. I, uh, got this game recommended to me by actually quite a few people, and, uh, so I finally decided to give it a try, and so I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I already enabled uh, vertical sync because it was at like 2,000 FPS, and I don't particularly feel like blowing up my computer. I think I'm going to turn the music volume down a tad here. I didn't do anything. Is that sound volume? No? Okay, well, we'll roll with that. And, uh, that should be good. Alright, so, welcome to FTL. Hold on, let me check the time here first. Alright, welcome to FTL. You are the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the Rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the Rebels can catch you. Your ship, the, Ke the Kest Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. The circle icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. Okay. Oh, and it shows, it highlights you to show you where each one is. My oxygen system. Systems use power from the reactor. Pointed where the arrow is. Okay. So, I guess since we've got one in each of these, it takes, for instance, this is two bars, it'll take two. This is only one. So, if we charge the FTL drive one more, okay, so it does. Uh oh, okay. Offline! Oh god. Hey, the, the engines are offline. Let's shut the health systems offline. And then weapons. Wonder what happens if I replenish a sip. Wonder what happens if I shut that off. Okay, anyway. Um. We'll learn all that stuff later, obviously. These are your ships. Subsystems. Unlike systems, they do not require power from the reactor. But what are they? Sensors enable view of all rooms or info from your ship. Piloting requires a crew member to evade in combat or jump. Um, so does this require two people then? Oh, it doesn't say. I'm not able to change it. Allows for remote opening and closing doors. <laughs> That's hilarious. <clears throat> Hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Huh, well, they're always at the front of this ship, at least. The hull meter, shield level, and current resources are at the top of left. If your hull meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. I only have one shield. <clears throat> and apparently my evasion is only 10%. Okay, so that's what it does. You do have oxygen, and it slowly goes down. Luckily for me, it only takes one. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered... White system boxes are unpowered. We'll go ahead and throw two in there. <clears throat> we'll transfer from reactor to power. About the try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system if you want to reroute its power. Engines critical. Well, that's not good. Your engine room took two damage. Well, that is not much damage. Its system icon has become red to show and it is broken. Your hall meter has also taken two damage. So I wonder if that means if they hit a spot, 
Because it's only got two bars, if it only takes two damage. Okay. <clears throat> your crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using left click to select multiple crew. Oh, by left clicking and dragging. Select some crew. Okay. Crew. Oh, right click. Oops. What the heck? There. Okay. Left click now. Right click on a room to send them there. Man, that's a complicated path, isn't it? <clears throat> well, automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Notice the repair systems will automatically try to repower themselves to the last powered state. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the systems. Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in their room. The silhouette above the power bars shows if the system is manned. <clears throat> well, let's man... You can't man this one, I guess. Nope. But we can man the shields. Man the shields, Captain. Well, actually, the captain's up here, but... Anyway. Ah, chest pain. Ugh. Okay, and so we've got... <clears throat> we've got names over here. I wonder if they get experience. See, okay, yeah, apparently they do, because he's got... Increased repair speed. That's kind of neat. Uh, oh no, a fire has broken out in your starboard airlock. You could send your crew member to put it out. Well, let's take advantage of your airlock. That's cool. Open one airlock door by left clicking on it. Opening doors allows you to drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. Rooms turn pink as the oxygen drains out. Your oxygen sh systems will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. Cool. <clears throat> Each jump consumes one fuel. Without fuel, you will be stranded and unable to jump. Good God. I am running out of breath. <sighs> this is the beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Your left click on a node to go there. These are all unvisited, so... Let's go out here in the middle of nowhere. Every new location... Whoa, hello. That would be a Skype call. Ah. Okay. Every new location will have an event like this. You may have multiple choices available to you in an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Special ju- blah, 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 blah. Special jewels. Sponsored. Special jewels brought to you by... <laughs> Bankai. Oh my god! Okay. Now that we're done being called by everyone. Every new location you have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Cue for the freaking telephone. One, continue. Two, special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They are nearly always a good choice. Welcome to combat. You can use spacebar to pause the game at any time to strategize, give commands, or relocate your power. Press spacebar to pause the game. Okay. Pause. Unpause. Pause. Unpause. Pause. Ahem. <clears throat> you need to power your weapon fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box. Ba 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 ba. I need one. Shoots two lasers that do one damage each. 
free range. I don't have any other weapons. Whoop. Left click a powered weapon to arm it. Oh, hello. Then target a room in the enemy ship by left clicking on it. You can also use the hotkeys 1 through 4 to access your weapons. The weapon will fire when it's locked on and charged. Make sure the game is unpaused. Kill their oxygen! Suffocation! You missed! Failure! Oh, your shield is a little ridiculous. Two shot two. Your two shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields. But luckily, he can't get through your shields either. Note. Every two powered bars in your shield system. Net? You mean lets you? Oh, nets you one more shield? What? Every two powered bars in your shield. Oh, okay. So if I've got two, then I've actually got three shield. <clears throat> I guess. Guess that's what that means. You've been given a missile launcher now. Shooting it expends your missile reserve, but missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use the, shi the, 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 the use the missile to damage the enemy shield system, then your lasers can get through as well. Fire again! Uh oh. Haha! <laughs> Man, that takes forever to arm. Oof! Oh, I missed. Keep firing! Kill their oxygen! Fire! 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 Now kill their engines so they can't escape. Check out their shields, actually. That'd be a better idea. I missed! Check out their shields again! Gotcha! Ha ha! You destroyed the pirate ship. As salvage, you gained some scrap and a weapon. A halibird beam. And 100 scrap. Uh, I don't want to shoot anyone. There we go. Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there is no more room in their respective system. Left click on the ship screen to equip the item. The Artemis. Standard missile launcher in most Federation ships. The Halibird Beam. Slow but reliably powerful standard beam weapon. Requires 3 power. 17 second charge time. Good god. Well, that one's 10. Damage per room hit is 2. Per shot. Well, that one's 2. That's a low firing chance? That's kind of weird. Beam is, damage is reduced by one for every shield it passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. But it doesn't take missiles. Oops, your weapon system max power is two. Whoa, upgrades. This is the upgrade screen. You can see detailed info about your systems, upgrade them, spending scrap. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom menu, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Okay, so, subsystems allows the ship to make FTL jumps and dodge when piloted. Adds autopilot, that's cool. Uh, reveals the interior of your ship and gives you information about enemy ships. Oh, okay, I can see enemy power usage when I upgrade it. Allows remote opening and closing of doors. Upgrades to blast doors to impede fire spread. 
That's kind of cool. That just straight up gives me more power. Heals all crew members within the med bay room. It increases healing speed. Powers all of your ship's weapons. Upgrading lets you power more weapons. Um, refills the oxygen in the ship. Upgrading increases rate of refill. Powers the FTL drive. Upgrading improves dodge chance and the rate your FTL drive charges. And powers your shields every time shield bar can block one incoming shot. Upgrading increases bar count. Okay, so. Oh, you can upgrade crew and stuff too. Oh no, never mind. Left click on your weapon systems to upgrade it. So now I can hold another one, I guess. N now power your new weapon. You might need to power down your other weapons. Okay, so yeah, I am going to need more system power. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered. Huh. It's kind of neat. Well, I finished the tutorial, and now I get to go do a bunch of editing. <coughs> so when we come back, I'll actually start a new game. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell me what I do wrong, what I can do better. Make sure to check out my other uh, Let's Plays if you want. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned to watch next episode.